me K10 and check it out. We're invited to a princess party, but the princess party is happening right away. <gasps> we better hurry. Wait a minute. This gives me a clever idea for a crafternoon. We can make a whole princess outfit to get us ready for the party. But it says we have to be there soon, so we gotta make this stuff really quick. Are you ready? Yes! All right, let's start making. Come on! Okay, so we have to start making our princess outfit. I think we should start with something that all princesses have on their heads. What do you think they wear on their heads? A uh, tiara. So I think what I'll use is this old headband that you just pop on like that. And what I'll do to make a tiara is I'll use some of these. Pipe cleaners. What we'll do is we're gonna take our pipe cleaners and we should pick a color that kind of looks more like a crown. So I'm gonna pick yellow. I'm gonna just take the pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna start winding it around this tiara really tightly, kind of just like that. And this way it will also help kind of grip onto your hair too. So this is the base of our tiara. So our crown will grow out of here. So just kind of like, like that a bit. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take another pipe cleaner and if you ever need a pipe cleaner to extend, what you can do is you can just wind two pipe cleaners together and get a doubly long pipe cleaner. Fun crafternoon tip. So we'll just twist this around again and again. And that's looking really good. Maybe one more and then now we wanna make the tiara shape. And I'm thinking what we could do is kind of make it look like, you know, the number three on top. So you know, zigzag, zigzag down. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to make that shape. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna pinch right here. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna pinch there. And I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna pinch there. And I'm gonna go down a pinch there. Then I'm gonna go back up, and then that's where we're going to bring these pieces back together. So I'm just gonna wind these up and kind of wind them around each other. So there you go. Here is our beautiful princess tiara. And I can pop it on. Ooh. So the next thing we need to look like a princess, I'm thinking, is something that every princess carries around. A wand! So if we're gonna make a princess wand, we will need a wand base. So I was thinking we could use this spoon that I just found at the dollar store. And maybe what we could do is we could cut a star out that could be part of this wand. So I'm thinking maybe what we do is we use, I have a little bit of scrap paper here and we can kind of measure out how we could draw a star for this beautiful wand. So I'm just gonna take this marker and I'm gonna draw a star. Start at a corner, you go up, you go across, you go down, you go up, and then you go down. Just like that. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And we'll try this out, and it kind of fits on our spoon. I think if we make our, our star even bigger, I'm just gonna make an adjustment here. And again, your star does not need to be perfect. It just needs to be really kind of cute and perfect for you because you're the princess. Now I have my star measured out. I'm gonna cut it out. There, beautiful star. 
And what I also think we can do, we'll glue our star, we'll paint our star, we'll glue it on. And also, because we have these little things back here, we can tie some ribbon onto it and have it hanging out. So, we're just gonna take a ribbon. Let's start with this one. We're gonna feed it through right here. And if your wooden spoon doesn't have holes in it, you can just glue your ribbons on or tie them onto the base here. Whatever works for you. All right, just gonna go like that. Beautiful. Next one, we'll do over here. Wow, look at the time, K10. We gotta get moving. There we go. Now I have the back looking really wandtastic. Can make some magic happen there. I think I'm gonna use these extra wands just around the base here, just like that. Awesome. There we go. So now our wand is looking amazing. It's just missing the star. So I think our star should be ready to go. It's looking great. And we're just gonna glue this right on top here. So I'm just gonna grab my tacky glue. Maybe I'll use a brush with my tacky glue today. Sometimes it's easier to use a paintbrush with glue because you can get it in a really targeted spot. If, it's, if you have to kind of be precise, like we have to be here to make sure it doesn't go all over the place or through these holes. So I'm just gonna put a layer of glue around here. Okay, so now we're gonna put this beautiful star right on top, like how we measured. We're gonna press it down. Press, press, press. All right, are you ready to see this? We made a beautiful princess magic wand. Make a wish. I wish to make more crafts. For our next and last princess craft that we have to make to get ready for our princess party, which is sooner than ever, I think we need a princess. Okay. So I'm gonna move this over to the side and I will show you how to make a tutu really fast. What you'll need is some elastic. And elastic is really cool, it kind of stretches like this. And you can use string if you don't have elastic, but elastic is perfect for this craft. And I found this, all this elastic, at the dollar store. In the craft section, of course, you're gonna wanna take the end of the elastic you're gonna wanna measure it around your waist, like so. And once you're around your waist, and it doesn't have to be like perfect, you are going to cut the elastic here. And there you go. This should be your tutu length. Make sure to tie a knot in the end. Then we're gonna use a special tutu fabric. It's called tulle, just like ballerinas wear. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut strips of this beautiful fabric and the strips are going to become our tutu. We just cut all the way down. Okay, and we're at the bottom. Boom. So what we're gonna do is you take this beautiful strip and we have, it's pretty long. You find the middle. Then you take your tutu and you bring it through and you bring these parts through. You do a loop over and that way, you can also tie a knot, but this is just an easier way to tie a knot. And you get two pieces of the tutu hanging down. Isn't that cool? We need to hurry, K-10. The princess party is waiting. And I want to dance. You can 
cut our tutu pieces faster by folding up this fabric. Do, 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 do. All right, like that. And we can even fold this fabric in half this way. Just make sure you're cutting it the right way. And then we can just cut a whole bunch of strips for our tutu that we can put on just like the way I did. Take your strip. And again, it doesn't need to be cut perfectly because it's all about making sure your tutu skirt is nice and flowy. And pull it tight to knot it on. We'll do another one. And do you see how this is gonna look just so pretty on top of our dress? Ooh, pretty. So we're gonna keep doing that till it looks like this. Whoa, look at this beautiful skirt, beautiful tutu. And you can crush these up a bit to make it even more poofy and floofy. And I think we're gonna add one more. I see a spot where I can add my last piece of fabric. And we will pop it right on, just like so. And the good thing about these things too is because they're not actually tied on, you can move them around a little bit. They can slide around, you can take them off, you can take them on, you can add more. But I have a beautiful princess tutu. Time to put this tutu on. Whoa, wow, check it out. We have our whole princess outfit ready to go for the party. We have our beautiful wand, our very lovely tiara, and of course, our princess tutu. Well, thank you so much for having another very princessy craftoon with me, K10. Bye. Oh, hey, do you hear my carrot? It's coming. Over here, yoo -hoo. for watching K10's Crafternoon. If you love making crafts as much as I do and you love making them with me, make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube at K10 Crafternoon. Make sure you ask a parent to help you out.